Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at a new AI code editor tool, which is Tray.ai. And this is from ByteDance, which is a parent company of TikTok. So they have also jumped into this AI code editor race and they are taking a direct take on Cursor and Windsurf. So before we jump into Tray, let's try and understand what are Cursor and Windsurf, which you might already be familiar with. So Cursor is this AI code editor, which is gaining a lot of traction because a lot of people have already been using it and there is a lot of buzz around it. Although Cursor is really good, but the pricing of Cursor can be a barrier to entry for a lot of people. It does have a free tier, but it has certain limitations. And that is where a new tool that came into existence, which was Windsor from Codium came into picture. Now, this is again a really good tool and the pricing is also lucrative right now. They are offering their pro plan for $10, which again can be a really good option for a lot of people. But because Trey just launched, this platform is currently free without any rate limits. So let's just dive in, see how we can install it on Mac and then test it out with building a small notepad app. So if you take a look at the website, they say ship faster with Trey. What they say is Trey is an adaptive AI ID that transform how you work, collaborate with you and run faster. So there are two modes of Tray. One is builder mode and the other one is chat mode. In builder mode, we can just input any query and it's able to write the code for it as well. And the chat is basically asking or querying about the code base and getting some information out of it. It also supports uploading images and screenshots. So if we have a reference of a screenshot, we can quickly upload it in the chat and then ask questions on it. The best part about Tray is that it has context to all the code base that we have. So whatever we are asking, it is referring back to the whole context of the code base that we have for the project. So let's try it out. This is completely free for now and available for Mac. So let's just download it and set it up. So we'll click on download for Mac and we'll wait for it to download. Once this has been downloaded, we'll just double tap on it and just drag tray app icon into the applications. Once this has been done, it should be available in our app section. So let's just open it up. So once we launch it, this is how the app looks like. It is asking us to log in to start using the AI features. So once we have logged in, this is how the UI looks like. On the right side, we have the AI section. On the left side, it's similar to how VS Code is. This is basically a fork of VS Code stripped down and added AI features to it. In the AI section, we have two options, the chat option and the builder option. Chat option is basically if we want to ask questions about our code repository or some part of the code. But on the other side, builder section is basically where you ask a query and it's able to write the code files as well. On the bottom, we can see different models that are available. Right now, we are seeing Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but based on the team, GPT-40 should also be available. So now let's test out the builder option and let's give it a prompt of creating a notepad app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As soon as we send it, we can see that our folder has been opened up and in this Tray should start writing the code files. It's now writing index.html. The best part is it uses diff format to write the code. So if we make changes to the code files, we can see what lines were added and what were removed. Now it's writing style.css. The best part is that there is human involvement in this. It says that one file needs review. I can either accept all or reject it as well. I'll accept it. Now it's implementing JS. So we can see that all three files have been written and we can see it in the folder section as well. Let's accept all the changes. Now let's take a look at our app. So we can see that it has created a full screen notepad app. I have different features like new note, saving or even downloading and below I can start writing. I can zoom in, I can zoom out and let's see if dark mode is also implemented. So if I click on it, we can see that dark mode is also working really good. Now let's try and make some changes to it. I've asked it to add a button to clear the note. Let's see how the changes are made. So it's making changes to index.html in diff format. 
So we can see that some changes are made in index.html. We can review those. In the same way, it's making changes to script.js as well. Let's accept all these changes. And let's reload our app. So we can see that we have a new button, which is clear note. Let's see if it works. We can see that the note has been cleared. I think this tool is performing really good and the output is also amazing. So tray.ai is performing really good. So I would highly encourage everyone to give it a try. It's completely free without any rate limits and it's comparable to something like Cursor and Windsurf. Put your thoughts in the comment, do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.